Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to Paris, where we belong. I'm gonna get straight into it. I have got some autumn capsule wardrobe updates for you. I've got some new pieces that I am excited is an understatement about. These pieces, this is probably the biggest addition I've ever done in terms of the quality of these pieces. I don't know what's happened to me this year. This has been the year where I have just thought, you know what, I'm 36, I'm divorced now, living alone in Paris. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna do what I want, I'm gonna have what I want and I have just gone for it. I've stopped overthinking about changing my style, how much money I'm spending on my wardrobe, you know, if that's appropriate, if it's okay or not. I'm just, I'm just going with it now. I don't care. And it feels really good to give myself that freedom. Um, so I know these pieces are incredibly high-end luxury, most of them, um, but they're all things that I've wanted for a really long time. I never thought I would have and things that I know will last a really, really long time as well. And they're in line with my three personal style keywords, which I talk about a lot. Um, so I'll show you, let's get into it. Okay, so the first piece is a, like, a jacket. Here it is. From Marj. I adore it. It took me a long time to decide whether I wanted it in white or black, but because I wear a lot of black on the bottom, I have a black satin skirt and I've got some trousers to show you as well. I thought white would be nice and that it would balance everything out. It's definitely a Chanel style, but it's not. Um, but Marge Paris have done a, a really beautiful job. I love that it fits properly. It fits the way one of these jackets should fit in that it has cropped sleeves. It's cropped around my waist as well, which elongates my legs and makes them look a lot longer. The color's timeless. I love the gold button detail with it. I've worn it a little bit over the end of the summer. It's been a really nice summer jacket, but I'm really looking forward to wearing it in, in autumn. And I know it's a piece that's gonna last year after year after year. I'll be able to get it cleaned, look after it properly. I absolutely love it. And I'll leave a link to all the pieces that I'm showing you in the description. Next new addition is from Celine Paris. I've got so into accessories this year. I think I'm really starting to appreciate that if you want to spend money on a piece for a timeless capsule wardrobe, you don't want to go high end everywhere. The place to do it is most definitely in accessories. Shoes, handbags, belts. This Celine belt I'd seen online quite a lot. I love the simplicity of it. I purposely went for the very thin one. Um, personally, I found it more flattering, especially because I am petite. I'm in the process or have been in the process of changing all of my hardware throughout my capsule wardrobe from silver over to gold. So the gold buckle on this in particular with the, the black um, patent leather it was just like wow it just really drew me in i love wearing it with trousers i've worn it with my skirt as well over the summer and it also looks really really nice with jeans i feel like it just levels up an outfit instantly it adds so much chic and and glamour to it just in one tiny simple piece and i'm wearing it a lot i'm wearing it most days yes it's definitely a high-end luxury piece that i've invested in but in terms of price per use i definitely think i'm going to get my my wear out of it and it won't date there's absolutely no way it'll date it'll um it's timeless next up on the list is wide leg high waisted trousers which is something that I have been looking for for years and always shied away from because A, they made me feel quite masculine every time I wore trousers. So I never, I just never liked that feeling. One of my three style keywords is feminine. The other is simple and practical. Um, I don't like to feel masculine in anything. So finding a, a feminine 
flattering pair of trousers has been quite a lot of work. Again, I found these online via, I think it was Paula on Instagram. She's got a pair who, who I love and trust for recommendations. So I went into the store here in Paris to try them, put them on thinking they're not gonna look good on me because trousers never do. I walked out of the fitting room, I was like, oh my God, these, these are them. These are the trousers that I've been looking for. I was so excited. And for autumn and winter, I'm so excited to wear them. I've been wearing them with trainers. I've been wearing them with my new flats and I've also been wearing them with heels. And the belt trouser combination in particular, I absolutely love. But I think I can wear these all year round. Love the material, love that they're high-waisted because they elongate my legs. I really can't recommend these enough if you're looking for a really nice pair of high-waisted wide leg trousers. Okay, so I'm saving the two most exciting pieces until last. Penultimate new addition for autumn is a pair of ballerinas, which actually goes against the dressing for my body shape rule that I've been implying because I'm only five foot two. Really, I should wear shoes with a point on them. These are the exception. These are very, very special. These are from Chanel and I absolutely adore them. They are something that I've wanted probably since I used to be obsessed with the hills. I think Lauren Conrad had a pair and I've been obsessed with them like ever since as just the, the ideal classic flat that is timeless, stylish and lasts. Absolutely adore them. I haven't worn them outside yet because they have a, you see, I've been, I've been practicing in the house as you do. Does anyone else do that? You practice around the house with your new shoes on, especially when they're special ones. Um, I'm gonna get a protector for the sole. I get these sticky things from the cobbler and I might get something for the back of the inside as well, just to make them stick to my heel a little bit better. They fit, they fit beautifully, but I would probably be between sizes, ideally. I'd probably be like a 4.75 in the UK as opposed to a five. But I tried the four and a half on and my feet looked weird. They, they didn't look like my feet. They just looked so, so tiny and they were ever so slightly tight. So I went for the fives, I got my usual size, but I think, yeah, I might just get a little something. Or if you have anything to suggest, please do so in the comments. But I just love them. I absolutely adore them. I can't wait to be clip clopping all over Paris in these. I know they're gonna last in line with my three keywords. I don't know, they represent something to me as well, I think. So I got them when I got back to Paris from the UK and they sort of symbolize this this new me, this new, this new life. Um, yeah, I love them. For the grand finale, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll, you'll not be surprised that I've added this bag to my wardrobe. I've been looking at it since the start of this year and I did a Q and A poll thing to ask people what they did if they were divorced, separated, what they did with their engagement rings and their wedding rings. Let me know in the comments if you have a story to tell, please. For me, and I think it's a very personal decision that you have to make what to do with those things because usually they have a lot of meaning attached to them. Mine did anyway. I absolutely adored my rings, they were so special to me. I kept them for a really long time after I stopped wearing them and then I sold them. And I always wanted to use that money to do something special with. I didn't want it to be an experience. Don't know why, I wanted it to go into something tangible that I could wear, use and love eternally like you would the rings and I decided to go with a Chanel bag. This is the Timeless Classic. It's the medium size. It's, it's not new. It's not vintage because it isn't 20 years old. So it's classed as pre-loved. And I've been shopping around for one for a while. I was never gonna buy a new one. I've seen a lot online, read a lot that the vintage ones are actually better made. They're a better investment. 
and very weirdly, Chanel bags do actually go up in value and actually say that they are an investment. That's not why I've bought this. I've bought this because I love it again, probably from my Lauren Conrad, the Hills days obsession. Um, but for me, it's just the ideal bag. And that is what it was designed for by Coco Chanel. It was designed to be the only bag that she ever needed. When I went into the store to actually just, you know, have a look and try it on in the mirror and just see what I thought. Um, the, the sales guy, really, really nice guy called Andre, he was talking me through the bag and he said about how the inside, the top flap, he's like, oh, and this was for Gabrielle Chanel's love notes. And I was like, what? What do you mean love notes? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she designed that, um, that pocket for, for the fur love notes. Obviously, I was just like, kid in a candy store. I was completely sold as a, uh, a writer and a lover of stories. Um, but yeah, she designed this to be the only bag that she needed and did a very good job. This isn't the original that she designed. This is from Karl Lagerfeld's um, collection much later. The reason that I went for this one, this pre-loved one, and I've been shopping all over Paris for months and months, I wasn't gonna get it until I felt sure that that was the one. The reason that I went for this one was it was the, the condition's really, really good. I loved the size of it, it's the style that I wanted, but also I saw that it was made the year that I got married and as some, you know, someone who is into the, the deep and, and the meaningful, I love the idea that the year that I had my new rings, this was also being made. So it's like this was waiting for me on the other side. So yeah, it's a bit of an emotional purchase. And I've been thinking about that. I was, I was riding my bike the other day with, with my bag on and I thought, oh, I feel so nice riding around Paris with my fancy new bag. Um, and I thought I used to feel so beautiful with my rings on and I thought how I'd swapped one for the other and how they're just things, you know, the, the engagement rings were beautiful. The bag is so, so beautiful. I love it. I know I'm going to wear it forever, but at the end of the day, it's the meaning that we, um, that we put into them, you know, without that meaning that it's just, it's just stuff and, and that's okay. And I think you have to, um, you have to know that and, and respect that and not think of them as status pieces. That's what I try to stay away from. Anyway, I bought it because I love the quality, appreciate the history. The brand Chanel for me is one that I absolutely love. And I really wanted to do something special with what were my rings. So this is what, this is what I have, um, I've turned them into and and it feels really nice. It feels meaningful and poetic almost. So let me know what you think of the new additions. Hope you've enjoyed a little, uh, a little show and tell. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments and I will see you soon.